Over the last 25 years, I think vehicle safety and roadway safety has improved dramatically. We've put a lot of new technology into our vehicles voluntarily, and we will continue to do so as technology improves. When I started doing this in 1985, uh, many cars that were on the road at that time, uh, if they had seat belts, they were simple lap belts with a manual adjustment to them. So we saw that evolve uh, into uh, seat belts with automatic pretensioners in them. We saw the proliferation of air restraint systems and from steering wheels to having 10, 12, 14 bags inside of a single vehicle, right? We're arriving at, at automobile crashes now with badly damaged vehicles. We, we roll up in a fire truck and we see this and we're expecting to see badly injured people. But what we're finding instead are the occupants of the vehicle standing outside, couple scrapes, minor bruises, uh, on the phone, talking to their husbands, wives, kids, parents, already dialing 911 all on their own uh, with minimal injuries, and the cars are badly damaged. What's been happening in the automotive industry to make the occupant safer is phenomenal. Uh, it's absolutely making a difference in the streets. Vehicle engineers and crashes are very complicated. So as crash test engineers and designers, we ensure that occupants are protected in a variety of scenarios, front, rear, side, and offset kind of tests. Seatbelts have improved dramatically since their inception. When they first came out, it was simply a lap belt. There was nothing to restrain your forward body motion. So today's seatbelts have pretensioners in them, so they lock you up in place after a crash. And then they have some load limiting forces that allow you to ride into the airbag to limit your body forward motion while your, the airbag is connecting with the body. Seat belts are the most effective way to keep an occupant safe and protected. Always buckle up. It's critical to have your seat belt buckled to keep you in the seat and allow the airbags to do their job the right way.